I'm Judith Sullivan and I'm here to talk a little bit about zero balancing. Zero balancing is a type of body work that combines both energy and structure and I'm here to talk about the structure. This is my co-host Fosby who's really an expert with the connections of the head and the tail. This is the occipital bone and you'll see this is the foramen magnum where the spinal cord goes right through all the way down through the vertebral canal all the way down through the sacrum. Here are two vertebrae and the vertebral canal is what the dural tube comes down through. Here, here you see T11 and T12 and here I have T11 and T12 and then you can see the vertebral canal and the tube comes down through there. The spinal cord itself stops at around T12 but the tube continues down through the rest of the lumbar vertebrae through the sacral hiatus. The other interesting part about the sacrum is those bones aren't completely fused until you're about 25 years old. It's about the same time that you know your brain is working right, that you have all the different parts of your brain. I find that very interesting. Then that tube comes down through the sacral hiatus, comes out right at the bottom and then forms the periosteum of your coccyx. So this tube, these membranes, have a specific effect from the tailbone to inside your head. Here you have what's inside becomes what's outside. Any falls or any trauma that you've had to your tailbone can actually have an impact either in your pelvic cavity or all the way up to your head. So here we have the occipital bone, remember this bone right here, and then we have the sacrum, which is down at the base of the spine, and if you have a bad fall on your sacrum, you can tilt the sacrum, and because of the tube that connects the sacrum to the occiput, the occiput will also get torqued. Now what you have here is the sphenoid. Let's go back to this bone that goes across the head and its relationship to the occiput. It is sitting here. So when the occiput gets tilted like this, the sphenoid can also get tilted or in a, in, a, in a different and more severe impact, the sphenoid gets tilted but the occiput doesn't and you have a different relationship that ends up being very uncomfortable and having very strange uh, symptoms in the body that don't make any sense the fluid pressure, the cerebral spinal fluid, which is really in addition to all of the jobs that it does in, in nurturing our, and feeding our brain and spinal cord and taking away waste materials, it also serves as a shock absorber. A bad fall can actually serve as a mini tsunami going up into the head and many people who have certain kinds of headaches, it is possible that it's a result of a bad fall to your tailbone taking the trauma out of the tailbone can release some of these headaches. How to know if you might have a tailbone issue is just to touch your tailbone. Just put a little bit of pressure on it. Just reach around in the back, around to your sacrum, reach around, and just put some pressure on your tailbone in different places and see if it's sore. You won't find that it's sore necessarily in your daily life, in sitting or standing, but if you touch it, it'll be sore, and that means that you have you might have an old trauma there. It might be affecting um, some other issues in your body, or it may not. Thank you for watching, and I'd like to thank Fosby for her expertise in all of these matters and all of the time that she spends teaching me about herself and about her bones. Check out zerobalancing.com. That'll tell you a lot more about how we work with the bones and energy. So this is really quite a profound connection between the tailbone and the head, specifically the occiput. And in zero balancing, we pay attention to both ends of the string because they affect one another.